Ever wondered how to get that movie trailer voice of God sound? Or want to sound like a sportscaster? Well then stick around for this episode of Sound Guys Explains, where I break down the proximity effect. As a definition, Proximity effect refers to a natural bass boost that occurs when a directional microphone is placed very close to a sound source. When we say directional microphone, we mean pressure gradient mics, which means mics with cardioid, hyper and supercardioid, subcardioid, and figure of eight patterns. Basically, anything that isn't classified as omnidirectional. When we say sound source, we're talking about anything that creates an acoustic signal, not just our voices. This includes instruments and loudspeakers. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this all work? We know that bass frequencies increase as the microphone gets very close to the sound source. The proximity effect occurs due to the phase and amplitude variations of the sound waves arriving at the two sides of the directional microphone's diaphragm. These variations are explained by the different ways sound radiates through the air depending on the frequency and distance from the source. When the microphone is in the far field relative to the sound source, sound at every frequency arrives as a plane or planar wave whose wave fronts move basically in parallel with each other. When the microphone is in the near field of the sound source, sound at high frequencies still arrives as plane waves, but the low frequency sound waves behave differently because at this close of a distance, the sound source can be considered as a point source, meaning the sound waves propagate spherically. Because of this behavior, the low frequency sound intensity at the mic drops off faster than the high frequencies. And because the directional microphone works by detecting the difference in pressure between the front and back of its diaphragm, the larger pressure differences detected at low frequencies translate to a larger output. Here's a little test we've set up by way of a technical demonstration. We'll be using this laboratory grade quarter inch microphone, which is a pressure mic, meaning that it is omnidirectional and won't exhibit the proximity effect. For comparison and to demonstrate the proximity effect, we'll be using this large diaphragm condenser vocal microphone, which is directional and has a cardioid pickup pattern. The two and a quarter inch loudspeaker is generating pink noise, which contains all audible frequencies. At a distance of 20 centimeters from the sound source, both microphones exhibit a similar frequency response that is mostly quite flat. When we reduce the distance from the source to the speaker to two centimeters, we notice two things. The omnidirectional measurement mic's response shape hasn't changed much at all. The cardioid vocal mic's frequency response has changed and now has a visible bump in the low frequency region, indicating that the relative bass output increases as it gets closer to the source. This objectively demonstrates the proximity effect. If nothing else, be sure to take these points away with you. One, the proximity effect applies to all sound sources you might put a microphone on not just the voice. Two, proximity effect only applies to directional microphones. Three, the more directional the mic, the more pronounced the effect. Four, the effect lessens as the sound source moves off of the microphone's primary axis. If this has you intrigued, do go ahead and check out the full article I wrote on soundguys.com, linked below. For more videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling us what you would like to see in future videos. Until next time, happy listening.